gave you the rent money, but you spent it on the watch. Uh, this is what you did? Bad choice. Bad choice is on my part, but at the end of the day, you know, like, we hype, we here, we live, we ready. Good intentions, though. Good intentions. Good in-fucking tensions, you know what I mean? You tried to do what you could for her, and she came through with a watch. I get it. She came through the watch. Valentine's Day coming up. Christmas just passed. I get it. I understand. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, you live and learn. All I know is, is that you wear a condom when you fuck strippers. This is what you're supposed to do. Anybody, right? That's what you're, I said. What you're and, supposed and, to do. And, and don't tell. And don't tell. And don't believe them when they say they're on birth control. That's you it. still wrap up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. No, yeah. For sure. Oh, man. Like, just the strippers. Girls don't get mad, bro. You using a rubber on me? You think I'm a stripper? Man, look. Wait, and I will be like, yes. <laughs> Dude. No, yeah. Like, no, yeah. What you mean? No, but good intro. This is <laughs> this is you tripping. This is sweeter this man. Is everything. This is gem talk. This is what y'all been waiting for. This is the content y'all been striving for. Um, I am your host of this lovely and prestigious podcast collaboration. I am Podcast G. I am with Jerry, John, T, yeah. Nick, yeah. Yeah. Slate, Big Daddy. We got I got, here. I got I got the artist crazy. Yeah. We we are fully loaded. Um loaded. so before we even get into everything, like yo, you guys straight? You guys need anything? No, good. Because I'm not gonna get anything per pod. <laughs> okay? Like I'm not I'm getting y'all anything like mid pod. So hospitality being good, man. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. yeah. For sure. All off cam. For sure. Cool. Um before we started like um pre production, we were just all talking about the Super Bowl. Yeah. So, just briefly, what do y'all think? Is it like... Who we taking? Yeah, who we taking? Oh, yeah. You um, can, like... Who, who are you taking? Because uh, I know uh, y'all uh, taking Patty. Y'all, y'all, uh, y'all just like Wayne. Y'all, whatever Patty uh, is, y'all go. Uh, whatever Wayne is, like like y'all go. Like, hey, like, I actually have respect. So, <laughs> me personally, I think that probably going to win, bro. And that's just how it is, bro. I choose so, winners only, bro. If anybody's been paying only. attention to my life... I only pick Wayne. So, so, so you so pick, you pick, pick the Titans pick yes, over the Ravens? You pick that? No. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. no. no. Right. Now we get into it. Now we get into it. Nah, I mean, me personally, like, who I want to win is different to who I think is going to win. Like, That's I, true. I want the Chiefs to win, but I feel like that, that defense on the Niners is yeah. just, it's just crazy. It's My homie. I just, okay. I just, I just, like, gotta say. I just look at it like, man, the Chiefs can't do what they did against these other teams. They can't get down, yeah, like 30 to zero and points. think that's gonna, that's gonna work for the Niners because right. it's not gonna work. Right. I, I, I probably say Niners gonna get the dub. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna be so. surprised tomorrow, bro. Okay, first pass. Okay. Mm. Seventy-five yards. <laughs> right there. Well, you taking, taking Richard Sherman deep, or like who are you taking deep, or it's gonna be like a screen or something? Hill over Sherman. Of course, I take Hill over Sherman. Oh, Sherman. oh, oh my God. God. Right. T, what you think? Nah, I'm a, it's Black Stop. History Month, so I'm gonna go with my life. This nigga. <laughs> This nigga! Uh, hard. We be winning it everywhere. Black History Month. Say no more. He ruled for everybody. Black History Month, bro. My homie. Happy New Year's. Black History Month. Yeah, for sure. Black History Month. I gotta put gas in my car. Black History Month. Nick, who you got? I think I gotta go with the Chiefs, man. I'm just a big Tyreek guy. I feel like I just want him to get a championship. I want Andy Reid to get one. That's what I'm focused on because I like them with the Eagles. It's gonna be a tie. My, my ex. Okay, so my ex likes the Chiefs, so I'm rooting for the 49ers. Oh. <laughs> is that like Wait, real? is this the truth? No, this is this is um. Worst this is AKA. Ever made I can't say life. names. Oh. This is AKA. This is AKA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know that. Okay. Y'all know that. Okay. Okay. Gem turn. Wow. Who you got? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just say one. Just say Chiefs Just or Niners. Just say somebody. I actually have a question. Oh, okay. You got the bucks. In response. Right. Oh. She got the bucks. <laughs> no, no, no. Have you? Do you guys bet on the Super Bowl? Have you? Would you? I did. I did. He did. bet like a hundred on the Chiefs. I bet a hundred bucks on Patrick Mahomes. You bet in my fucking. You wildin'. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I've right. never <laughs> in like my history ever betted on a like sports never. game ever. <laughs> the only time I do that is if I'm involved, cause I like I just see it. I mean, like, facts. Like, yeah, facts. You, know, like, you can't you, uh, you can't affect the outcome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, talk to better in pro, right? The here. only the only the biggest bet I've ever done was the Mayweather McGregor fight. I put a couple mm. stacks on that, Ooh. but I felt like that was because it was guaranteed. Yeah, that was a guaranteed. Sure. It was a guarantee. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, yeah, so do you like do you use like the little um like the apps and stuff? Yeah, it was like a dual. Nah, it was like a stuff? Bovada, Bovada.lv okay. or something okay. like that. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cause I ain't gonna lie, I play FanDuel, but I be doing the free man. So I be like, hey, I'm just, I ain't putting no money in these. Nah, man. Um, so what we uh, are wearing, well, what me and Terrence are wearing, we are wearing oh, yeah. Vibe. We are wearing Fly High Society. You know what I'm saying? Go cop now. Merch. Go support. Yeah, Go support. Uh, Fly Tribe Apparel. You know what I mean? Uh, again, this. Uh, JR Gancy here. So, uh, Fly Tribe Apparel is something that I started, what, uh, I want to say almost two years ago now. Yeah, um, in 2018, I believe. Wow. Um, so, to break the name down, I'll start with the tribe. Um, I'm co- I come from like a huge family. I have. Facts. Like, what, what is it, 10 of us? So it's five boys and five girls. Youngest in the clique. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like we have, we have a huge family, and I understand that your support system, which we'll get, in, uh, get into a little more later, yeah. is like, you know, a big thing, you know, mm-hmm. for me, you know, and as far as propelling you to success. And then um, with the five, of course, you know, it's a kind of a synonym for looking good or whatever, but I uh, took the took the turn on it and uh, thought of it from a, a spirit animal perspective. So... Uh, the flies, the spirit animal, actually um, signifies, you know, prosperity and abundance through times of adversity. Right. So all I did after that, I just combined the two and fly tribe was derived from that, man. That's like, very inspirational, bro. So, I mean, yeah, like, uh, pretty much, like, all the years, it's original. I do the designs myself. Uh, you know, you've been in the photo yeah, shoots. Yeah, no, like yeah. That. It's so, been part man, of the history. Yeah, man, so. like, yeah, getting it out the mud, but it's been super fun. I mean, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter. Snapchat, all of that, fly with the tribe, and then the website is flytribeco.com. So word, facts, okay, word. word. No, we're gonna have you do that at the end because you know, do that mm-hmm. twice. Mm-hmm. 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 That'll be good. Sure That'll be know. good. We got new drafts coming. So. Um. Okay. So let's just like get things like introduced, right? Like, yeah. who are we? Like, who do you uh want to start off with? You tripping or sweeter man? I mean, you right here. Right. So you okay. The rules. So, I mean, what you? All right. Mean? So Gem Talk Podcast. It <laughs> is consistent of. Big Daddy and Vinny and my co-host Iso B. What we like to talk about or, you know, um, circle our conversations around is to elevate, motivate, and educate our population in the terms of when you're coming up into making your own venture, venture being business, music, art, anything. So what we try to do is everyday life, we relate to our come up because every day we wake up and we want success for ourselves. So we try to drop gems being gem talk Makes and sense, like make sense. people you know realize like yo we're not only a family in this whole shit you know what i mean we all have the same mindset that's what we are all on but sometimes we like to you know divert into yeah, some yeah, other yeah, shit yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. i mean we talk our shit you yeah. know what i mean and um super fucking grateful for our female <laughs> co-host <laughs> being that we like as like an all male dominant podcast there are some points mm-hmm. in time where we kind of fucking yeah, slip up, balance, you know like, what I mean? Uh, yeah, we respect. slip up yeah, and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it is good to have different perspectives from different diversities yep. come into the mix, come up with their, you know, their venture and their journey. You are a professional dancer, not like exotic, but you know, just <laughs> um, on the <laughs> salsa, true. on the salsa not bachata true. expo, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, That's realm. Yeah. So, and then Vinny is trying to be a political icon you know what i'm saying so just the journey through all of us like with your yeah. fashion industry with our podcast we try to get those people together and like drop jewels on their journey and shit like that so that's what we're on but i want to know what you tripping is on i mean so <laughs> you tripping is it's basically just it's it's in the name really <laughs> like, it really is though yeah like it's really are you calling this out are you I calling mean, the public out are we all tripping, tripping? tripping? Yeah, tripping. Yeah, tripping. Like, the thing is I be tripping sometimes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But like more that. often than not, it's not me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the thing is, it's like, like you said, we come from a big family, man. So I have, I mean, brothers and sisters. My parents, obviously, my parents is way older than a lot of people's parents. But I have brothers and sisters that is in almost like every age group. Right. So I've seen a lot, done a lot, experienced a lot. So I feel like I have a lot of wisdom to give. Yeah. And more often than not, I'm 
pretty blunt. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you if you're tripping or not. Yeah. Because I want the best for people, not because like I think I'm always right. True. But just because of the simple fact that I want to see everybody be them best selves. So Facts. If I see somebody tripping about something, I'm like, nah. Yeah. You tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever give your project first and then the follow up shits on your project? You know what I mean? and like, like, oh, exactly. Fuck. But that's the <laughs> part of it. Like I said, I'm the youngest in the clique. So to me, yeah. that means that I should be the most knowledgeable out of all my brothers and sisters because they taught me everything they know. It's true. So it's just like, yeah. You know what I mean, I got to give that to other people because I'm not going to be selfish with it if they taught it to me. It's yeah, like, big word. Big word. Okay. So I'll go with it. Yeah. Where'd you guys get Sweeter Man from? I love the song. Oh yeah, yeah. So it actually originated from the song from Ram. Okay. Ram I love the song. Yeah. Song. So, so pretty much, me, T, and our other co couldn't be here today. Will we just always been calling ourselves with the Sweeter Man for a long time? Yeah, and if you yeah, understand yeah. like the meaning of that song, it's just guys that you know. Long story short, can get girls. You know, right. bad yeah. girls. So right. I think just having that experience, we kind of made a podcast where we can like kind of tell it. Like I mean, just tell it how yeah, it is, right? How it is. And yeah. it was kind of like a moment. It was like a, like a summer. Yeah. You know, when yeah, some of yeah, those yeah. things yeah. just yeah. happen and it kind of sticks. Yeah. yeah. So we just brought we it just to life in the podcast. One of those things you kind of joke about at first, but then it kind of sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's just go, with, go with it. But it, I mean, it used to be like, we'd go out and be like, yo, it's the Sweeterman tonight. Like, yeah. that's what we're going to do, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's, that's a good call. Call an audible. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. For sure. Shout out to our videographer, Slate. Uh, he didn't introduce himself, but shout out to you for setting it up, bro. Shout out to you. Um, what was I going to say? Hold on, I got to ask though real quick. How'd you get your name? Like, is, is it Big Was it Big Daddy? What is it? It's Big Daddy. Big Daddy 03. Big Daddy. Um, Big Daddy what, what made, like, what yeah. gave you that name? Yeah. Honestly, what inspired it was that Nicki Minaj song. Uh, um, I liked okay. it a lot, and it ended up being my snap name. But then when I moved into the dorms, there was a second Alyssa. So, um... Mm. I was the one that was selling drugs, so I was. <laughs> <laughs> I messed with it. We're gonna edit. 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 That's why she can't get on camera. Right. 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 See, she's a walking fella. Right. But she said, "Big Daddy," because now I throw you off anyway. I'm gonna say also because I'm Daddy. You gonna think it's a guy? Guy. Yeah. 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 You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Daddy, and then there was a little I like you. I like. I like. Okay. Uh, no, yeah. She, she the brains behind the opposite. Yeah. That's ghost. That's yeah, ghost. That's okay. ghost. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. I paid my dues. I paid all. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just so funny how we're all kind of like interconnected, right? Like we all went to UT yeah, at one point. Yeah. Some of us didn't. Yeah. I went to USF. I went to USF. Okay, I went to yeah, USF for my second year. year. Shout out, you know. Yo, Alves. Yo. FAU, UT, you know what I'm saying? You know what's so crazy though? It's just that like you guys were Greek. We were like normies, or whatever. Normies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, but like we're not normies. No, 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 I'm sorry to say. That. <laughs> but, like, bro, bro, I'm just saying though, like most of the time, I don't know if y'all can contest to this. Y'all can argue with me or not, but like a lot of the Greek life kind of separates themselves a little bit. Yeah, but y'all, but y'all, ready? Like, yeah, since yeah, we're yeah, kind yeah. of like so close knit, that's why we even know each other because right. you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. even though you guys were like running the yard. At the yeah, same time, yeah, yeah. y'all were still intermingling with just regular. Our regular. experience was different though. See, like yeah. we Greek and we were Greek when we we were at UT. Obviously, we still Greek now, but like we we crossed and graduated in the same semester, so That's we true. really lived our whole college career as normies. Oh, like, you right? You said like we were only Greek for <laughs> what like two and a half. We're not gonna weeks. use that term. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were Greek on campus for two and a half yeah. weeks. After that, we graduated and we had to get into our field. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like, Sides of I think that's I mean. part of it though, man. It's because, like, we was always raised to just be like, bro, like, you're not better than right. anybody you're else. Yeah, 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 like, I don't care how much money you make, what you do different. I feel like T the same way. Like, just because we're in Greek affiliated organizations, don't mean we can't talk to people. That's right, like, right. I mean, just because we Q's and T Alpha, they be like, bro, we don't mess with T. Like, yeah, like, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. like, it's not like that for real. Yeah, and I think a lot nah, of people bro, kind of. Beef, bro. Hold up, bro. But FAU, you know, FAU. You know, man, I swear to with many fucking. But no, but that's shit. the thing, though. You Best think about it, but where does the beef come from? Probably people because, right, people. because people say something yeah. previous to you, right? Down it's because, because my, yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. personal chapter that's has, quote-unquote, beef with another chapter of bros. Yeah. Right? Mm. But that's just beef that they had in 2008. That don't have nothing to do with me. That's right. real. Mm -hmm. that's right, real. you know what I mean? So it's just like people, 
people really do that. Like, I, I see Deltas that don't like AKAs just because they AKAs. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, do you know them as a person? Yeah. Like, right. G, I, my yeah, guy. Yeah. Like, I'm like, he ain't got to be the bros for me to talk to. Like, right, right, just right. Cool. Like, right. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But like, y'all graduate. Like, I feel like anybody who crosses, like, right before graduation, bro, you have a bigger responsibility. We do. your thing is, like, you got to carry on the creed, but to just average living people type shit. Yeah. Not just to recruit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do it from the beginning, like, for me, I cross like, my, like, freshman and sophomore. Right, right, right. You feel me? So, for yeah. me, it was, like, my experience was exactly. those four years to carry on that creed. Yeah. Right. But y'all was like, yo, you just crossed, so what now? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, different for us, somewhere. like you said, because we, we literally crossed and graduated within a matter of two and a half weeks. But it's like, we had to almost dabble in both, like be professionals, like work eight to five, but then go to campus, campus and then have an yeah. event right that after. That must have been hard. You know what I mean? That so must have been hard. Like, yeah. It was literally like, you had to be a professional and then go be an undergrad. Yeah. Because we was we was out with the first line at our school, so yeah. it's not like we had NEOs that was there or anything like that. So we still had to generate interest. Right. At the same time, go pay these bills. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, if anyone's wondering what's in our cups, it is all moonshine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all of it is moonshine. Yeah. We are so fucked up right now. Because, you know, we don't, we don't do... Yeah. We don't do anything like... We don't do anything like at all. Okay, so that was great. Um, so what do you guys feel like you guys want from this? Like from each from, the podcast from each over. podcast, like what do you specifically want as Sweeter Man? If y'all can go first, like what do you want from this? Like, well, I guess when I first heard about it, when T brought it to my attention, was that <laughs> you guys want to talk about like support and like how you don't receive that from you know your friends or family. They they, they might you know hit you with a like you know on your post, right. but are they really going on there subscribing and listening? And when right. he told me that, I was like, yo, like whenever we do this, I'm ready because like I feel passionate about it. You know, you mm. put in hours and hours of time to like. They don't see the, you know, you're prepping the topics, you know, right. you're sitting there pre-production and, you know, you're investing in microphones right. and like doing all that. So like for me, yeah. like that's important to okay. like, you know, who's really fucking with you or not. Yeah. 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 I think, I think you're talking about like individually. What we I get think, out of no, it? I, that's what I meant. Like, okay, I like you. when you guys started okay, yeah, yeah. this, like when you guys envisioned where it was going to go, mm -hmm. you know, for me, for example, I envisioned like for us to be used as a motivational apparatus to oh, you know, okay. be like okay like yeah. gem talk was talking about this like mm -hmm. i see where their heads at you know what i mean where other people was like yo i'm trying to get famous yo you know what i mean like i'm trying to get paid yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, like yeah. notoriety gotcha, gotcha, stuff like okay. that so i'm just asking for each of y'all like what do you want <clears throat> from this life <laughs> yeah, you know what for i'm me, saying it's kind of like i kind of get so caught up in the nine to five like yo i need to Go to work, go yeah. to the gym. You're right. I need to study. I need to sleep. Yeah. For me, it's kind of like therapeutic to hang out with the guys. Thank you. you know, Thank just, you. Just Same chat here, it up, bro. Same yeah. here. You know, we can look back on these moments and be like, Yeah. Like, oh, remember when you said that crazy shit? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What about y'all? What about you tripping? Like, what do you want? Um, I mean, for me, honestly, like, I just wanted to be able to reach people because, like I said, the mentality that I have with it is just that you know, what I mean, basically telling people they tripping and like getting them right. back on the right skill. So I want people to see different things and not even you ain't even gotta watch the whole episode but if it's like little pointers that i say and you you're able to come up to me and like hey like you said this in this episode and it really helped me that's cool for me because i know i'm helping somebody else yeah mm -hmm. i'm just like it's i do mine by myself i don't really have no co-host or nothing like that so if i'm saying something that's actually meaningful to you then i'm I did what I was supposed to do yeah, for the day. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't care about nothing else. Yeah. Like, I'm good. Check yeah. uplift off the list. Right, check <laughs> uplift off the list. I did what I was supposed to do for the day. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, so. The collab was established based off just basically friendship. Like, That's it. This, yeah, yeah. this wasn't a collab because we're all Tampa, we're all podcasts. This is yeah, a yeah, collab yeah. off of friendship. And so, like, I, I'm kind of skipping around with topics here, but since I'm already in the segue into going into it, and I feel like I'm flowing into it, like, when you guys are building, you know, your inner circle, your friends and mm -hmm. stuff like that and you're trying to do things like a podcast and you're trying to do things larger than yourself mm -hmm. do you feel like your normal set of group friends need to change so that you can excel and exceed into that venture or do you feel like your stable amount of friends are good what do you guys think in like any venture like your album yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. i mean in your job and in like insurance you know what i'm saying like whatever you guys are doing do you feel like your friend group had to transition into something more mature did you feel like it had to 
be something less, yeah. like I less think, friends, I think more so, friends. I think you said the key word there, which was transition. I don't think your friend group necessarily has to change, right. but they do have to transition and develop into right. like mm-hmm. more mature individuals. Yeah. If you do have that friend group that's like, for lack of a better term, just like lacking on certain fronts and you feel like you can't pull them up in, right. uh, in certain ways and you've made your effort to try to pull them up, and they're not um, they're not receiving it properly. Then that's when you can. It's okay to keep them as friends, but you also need to find that new friend group that's like pushing you towards what your goal is. Right. Yeah, sure. Exactly. I think you know I think mean? sometimes we like we'll sit around and like with my friends we'll just talk about sports and like yeah. getting you know getting that's girls what I mean. and like that's what I talking mean. shit that maybe doesn't yeah, have like yeah. that much depth. So sometimes yes. the podcast allows us to actually talk about like more of like a you know intellectual conversation right. versus yeah. just kind of that day to day you know. Right. Oh, yo, you see that girl over there? Or like, right. yo, you saw you watched the game last night? Right. Like, you just kind of more, I don't know, I guess more in-depth conversation, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just important to have that balance, really, because, I mean, to me, it's important to have uh, friends in different spaces. Like, you don't have to That's have true. the same friends, like, for everything. Like, I'm not going to have the same group of bros that I'm always with ain't going to be doing technology stuff right. and ain't going to want to go to this bar, or ain't going to want to go to this church or whatever it is, but... You, you, it's important for you to have friends in different spaces because you're not going to know everything. Yeah. So even if I want to bring all of y'all along with me to learn different stuff about IT, right. y'all might not want to do it, but that don't mean like I got to stop being friends with y'all. That's true. Like, that's just mean, like you, yeah. T want to go into cybersecurity, so me and T might be able to work together, but he ain't going to carry you in HR. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. It ain't going to matter, but that ain't mean I'm going to be like, I don't want to talk to my brother no more. He said he yeah. ain't with IT. Yeah, like, that's, exactly. It's like it's, networking. Yeah, like yeah. it's networking. That's mm-hmm. part of it, man. It's important to have different friends in different spaces because ain't no telling where they can get you. So. Right. Mm-hmm. Quazy, as an artist, like, do you feel like you only have to, like, hang around with other rappers or other, like, artists or no? I mean, the like, artist lifestyle is, is, is weird because you're consistently meeting different people from different circles, from different perspectives. So I'm used to always being in a different room at all times. Okay. Like, yeah. I always got to check out, like, where I'm at, like, who I'm with. But at the end of the day, dude, like, yeah, at the end of the day, your day ones, they got to understand what you're going through, bro, because that's mm-hmm. just, a, that's just right. a hustle. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, And they're doing their hustle. Right. So like, when you vibe and click again, it's like, yo, at least we got this ground zero, which is where we met. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Exactly. So people got to understand that, because exactly. that's, that's that maturing thing. That's that growing yeah. up shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We all go in different lanes, but at the same time, I'm a call away. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Big Daddy, did you have to go through that at all? When, you know, as you're trying to go to city to city to like dance and like new yeah. shows yeah there's so many different like friend groups and i've had to leave a couple people behind just because of that maturity level the like right. expectations of me um but like the first thing that came in my head was like traveling like i can't imagine going on a group trip with my friends out of the thank country. you i can't i can't yeah. imagine. that's wild <laughs> me and another person sure but three plus unless it's a dance thing and we like Planned it around that. It's not when it's, yeah, exactly. Well, when it was a dance crazy. thing, there was there was thirty Chicago niggas in Italy dancing their ass off. But when it's <laughs> that well, is too much. That's too much. Well, it's, it's like it's too. it's teams of people. Bro, so, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Pull up with thirty people, bro. People, thirty people I don't even know, but we well, all you gotta take attendance at every event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the buddy system. You got your True. party. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to go by myself because trying to find just one person to align their schedule with me, yeah. their their schedule, their finances, all that. Like, I can't put that pressure on other people. It's the worst, right. ain't it? That's why I got lucky. I got a twin, so it just be like, yeah, we'll just yeah. up and go somewhere. Do you guys ever feel like in this whole, you know, come up? And when I say come up, obviously, you know what I mean. But like, do you guys feel like when your friends aren't supporting? Do you feel offended? Yeah, your close oh, for friends. Sure. Yeah, your close friends. Yeah. And and, and I bring up the conversation yes. because like I want to I want to just like say this statement and you guys can agree or not agree. Like regardless of how close they are, they have no obligation to mm-hmm. listen. They have no obligation to buy merch. Right. You know what I mean. Right. But when you guys look at it, you're like, but why? <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. why? You know what I mean. You this feel some type line. of. It's definitely it's a, a fine line. line I but... think, too, especially when in our situations, and his might be a little different, but I talked about that on actually an episode of my podcast where 
we don't on YouTube now go cop. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on our own, on so ours, even really on all of our fronts. It's free. Nothing we have is a subscription based. Like I right. said, it's free. Yeah. So I'm not asking you to buy anything. Like obviously, mm -hmm. I mean, fly tribe, like it's a clothing line. You got some dope stuff and right. everything. But I'm literally asking you to watch. Listen. Right. Listen, I don't care if you put it on in the background. Right. You might just be able to pick something out and be like, wait, what would he say? Yeah. And then just like rewind it a little bit. But if I post something. On Facebook, and I have five thousand friends on Facebook. How many people should be sharing that? Right. Mm -hmm. But if I post it and I only get just say five shares, that's one percent of my friend base that yeah. shared. Yeah, people yeah. that that were quote unquote friends on Facebook. So one percent of my friends shared something that I'm doing. Right. right. Like but that then, ain't. But then when you hit it off and everybody know you. Then all of now you got 4,500 4, shares. Yeah. Like, everybody, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. But that's the other thing, bro. Like, I feel like friends don't, like, like you were saying, like, it's kind of deep, but they don't have an obligation. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're they a friend. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, like, and it's weird. Because, like, the only way you can be a fan of something is if you kind of force yourself to kind of look for something. So, like, for instance, right? Let's just use Lil Wayne. Right, a lot of people love Lil Wayne. Here you go. Right. I love Lil Wayne, but <laughs> when the Carter Three well, came out, oh, he's a goat. And bro, I love the Carter Two, but when the Carter Three came out, and I'm the type of person where like, if everybody likes something, you best believe I'm gonna hate it. And I wanna find everything they hate about it to see why y'all like it, and then find my own reason to like it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly God. what happened with the Carter Three. It was one of those yeah, things yeah. where it's like, yo, everybody likes this. Nah, fuck that. There's no way, bro. Yeah, There's no yeah, way, yeah. right? I've been on this way before that. How's everybody like this now? Mm -hmm. And you find one thing, and you find one line, and you find one sound, one yep. production. Yeah. And then you start growing. And after a while, bro, you become a fan. And it's the same thing with like a podcast, you heard? So it's like, yeah, your friends don't have an obligation, but friends who at least try are the friends that keep Well, that's, around. I think that's where, like, as just even as an artist or even as podcasters, like, if you're my mm -hmm. friend, you'll listen to it. And if you don't like it, yo, tell me because you're my friend. So I want that exactly. honest opinion. Yeah. What didn't you like about it? Like, exactly. give me that insight right. so maybe I can exactly. keep improving. What can I switch right. up? But if you're not yeah. even gonna like it, and you're just gonna hit me with a thumbs right. up and keep it pushing, then like, yeah. I don't like, yeah. I don't agree. Yeah. With that. And I tell people that too is like, it it almost isn't that I would even be offended if you don't like it, but it's the matter of sharing it because yeah, yeah. somebody that's on your friends list might like mm -hmm. it. Exactly. Like, exactly that you might not like it. That's cool. That's fine. But. If I got 5,000 friends and you got 5,000 friends, we don't have the exact same right. friends list. So it's somebody on there that might, you shared, and they're going to be like, oh, like, what is this? And they're going to look at it. And they're going to be like, you know that dude that right. you shared this podcast? And it's like, you never know what yeah. can happen from there. Yeah. So it's just, I mean, it's, I don't really, I don't get offended easily. So, I mean, if yeah. you tell me you don't like it, I'm going to be like, cool. Like, what can I do better? Or is it just that you don't like podcasts? Like, yeah. whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, I usually but, get hit with that. I don't like podcasts. Yeah. But right, just, and that's fine. Like, some yeah. people... Some people don't really dabble in that arena, and that's cool, but it's just like, maybe you have somebody on your friends that does. That so does. My, my question is, why aren't you sharing it? Right. Because yeah, you don't have to like it to share it. Right. Because right. people just click stuff on Facebook all day. I be seeing people click stuff right now, and it's an article from 2015. That's a right. That's a fucking fact. Like, that's a fucking fact. But you sharing that, but you're not sharing what somebody you actually personally know is doing. Stop that's sharing weird fake news. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, so, but it's like, because at the end of the day, you know, what I said earlier with the whole obligation thing. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you don't really necessarily have to force anybody to listen mm -hmm. to anything they don't want to, but you yeah. necessarily want them to know, like, yo, I'm doing this. You know, you've been with by my side for yeah. X amount of years. Mm -hmm. This means something to me. Mm -hmm. And then that's why I bring up the conversation because there's going to be a point where you're going to bring something up to somebody and they're going to be like, okay, I'm going to give you an example. Yeah. I was dating a girl mm -hmm. and I literally told her, like, as excited as could be yo i'm starting a podcast i'm gonna do this two yeah. times a week i'm dedicated and then like along the lines when i told her and like we were out it made it seem like like oh like your podcast is more important to you than like me and like yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day like i don't mean to put you behind it but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I what you're saying. Yeah. You see what I'm saying, yeah. though? Like, why don't you feel my energy if I'm starting something? And that's why I bring it up because me, I'm okay. I'm going to just straight up. Like, I'm sensitive. <laughs> I'm, I'm hella emotional. It's it's right? right? No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're not going to do that rhetoric. We're not going to do that narrative. We're not going to do that narrative. We're not doing that. Nah. Yo, we don't support 
colorism. So <laughs> <laughs> everybody, yo, you was born with it. Nah, okay. you was born with feelings. But it's yo, okay, bro. But I wanted to ask y'all because it was important because it's yeah. so cool that you, my friends, have actually a podcast that I can yeah, actually yeah, talk yeah, to, yeah. versus my girlfriend who I wake up to and she's like, oh. Okay. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, like dump your girl if you don't trust her. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, damn, oh, like, no, 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 yeah, you don't care so what I, I say, I question, leave. So like, <laughs> you're talking about like a support system and all that, and like you speaking about like I guess like not having support. So in like your situation and everybody's like, what keeps you motivated to keep going? Then like if you don't have like the support system that you're looking for, you know, your friends and everything, and they're that's really where it starts. Right. You know? that's, that's the ground level. You need support from your friends right. to really get anywhere. Right. So it's like, what keeps you motivated? To get back into it, um, where we left off, left off at was you were asking about motivation and how, what source I get it from. And my main answer to that is internally. So I didn't start this podcast thinking that anybody would like it. I'm going to be real. Yeah. I didn't start the podcast thinking that people were going to listen to it. I kind of started it off the fact that I needed a media form to say what I wanted to say, but in a positive manner so that people can use it. Because in my main job, I have to use internal motivation because I'm a therapist. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. most people don't congratulate me right. on like saying, hey, good job on getting me out of depression. Right. You know what I mean? No, Nobody just, ever like... expect you to. Exactly. So honestly, at the end of the day, it, it helps so much. That's why I bring it up because at the end of the day, like I use my internal motivation to push myself but when i have the support system i'm skyrocketing you know what i mean mm -hmm. like i just feel like i'm invincible when i have you guys like supporting and right, shit like right, that right. but me i know i can do this shit solo dolo mm -hmm. i'd rather not play the whole league by myself yeah, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> at the end of the day i would rather have the golden state warriors as my go-to you know right. what i mean not oh, just no, like not now no. not, 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 not now, now. now. y'all know the reference <laughs> I need a super team. Right, Even right. though I don't need one, you I would like love that. one. Yeah, it'll make things I mean? easier. Yeah, but yeah. I don't want to beg for one. That's what this is. That's you know what I mean? I don't ever want to beg for anyone's support or love or affection or friendship or anything like that. You should just yeah. want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, not everybody has that. Some people, like, have to start with TV. Some people have to start with sports. Mm -hmm. Some people start with popularity. They get the clout, then they start the podcast. Right. Whereas we, we're like, nope, from the dirt, mm. from the mud. Mm. Like, exactly. let's just get it. Like, let's put this yeah. work. Let's put these episodes in, and like, let's see what happens. You know what I mean? And I feel like with that, I feel like a fifth grade student, just like putting things together, <laughs> see what blows <laughs> up. You know what I mean? But honestly, like, I'm just more intrinsically motivated by the fact that I need it for me. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all feel the same way, but I just feel like. It helps, yes, that I have the support system, but at the end of the day, if I have to do it by myself, I will. I go out by myself, I travel by myself, like, I don't let the presence or the support of others kind of hinder me to say, yo, like, maybe you shouldn't do this because not a lot of people are supporting you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know how y'all move because I'm interested to see how you guys move, like, motivational-wise. For sure. Big Daddy, talk to me. Okay, I'm immediately went to all my economics because that's what I'm struggling with, with class, with my life. Yeah. So what motivates me are the incentives. Like I'm a procrastinator and I really value my leisure. I would definitely rather be home all day, literally not even watching TV, literally just sitting there just thinking. Mm -hmm. But um, I know I got to go to school to get the money. I know I got to make friends to network, to have those connections later on. Yeah. So True. if you invite me out to a party, but I gotta pay twenty dollars for it, and it's dead. And I gotta drive an hour for it. Then she's like, "Nah, I'm you, you gotta pay me to be here." What yeah, you talking about? I'm not motivated <laughs> to go to the party at all. But right. you know, if the, like the benefits always cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need incentives. No, but you don't use the audience or people like thumbing you up to say, "Yo, good dance, like good recital, good." Like you don't use that, do you, or do you? Well, dancing is like my hobby, so that's just pure euphoria to me. Like, I'll do it by myself, and I'll be like smiling in my room and shit. So right. okay. <laughs> that was that was just for me to just smile hard as fuck. Okay, like, cool. That one doesn't take motivation because it it makes me happy. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. What about Sweeter Man? Like, what do you guys um, use? I mean, just kind of piggyback what T said earlier. Um, obviously, it's like therapy for us. So just kind of getting together and talking about that. But then I think 
the further we've done every episode we've pushed, we started getting actually like true fans. And as you guys should know, there's your friends that support you, but then you get these random people you don't know that Yo, really that feels so good. That bro. really I feel with so you, good you know too. So like we've had we had this um one girl, she just randomly DM'd me one night and she said, Hey, I just got out of like this bad, abusive, domestic violence like mm. relationship. Holy shit. Like like I guess it was real bad and she said that she couldn't sleep for days, she had night terrors. And she told me, she's like, Yo, Listening, I would just binge your guys' episodes and actually would like laugh for the first time and actually got some sleep that night. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like when you hear shit like that, you're like, well, fuck. Like yeah, I, was gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna take next week off, but I guess right. not. Like, I got right. 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 Yeah, like. That's some powerful shit too. Yeah. Even being hit on that with the gram, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't yeah, ever yeah, expect yeah, yeah. that shit. Or like. just or just the people, just regular fans in general will like hit you and be like, yo, when you said that, I don't even remember anymore at that point, because, you know, you pod, you just kind of say whatever, and you keep exactly. pushing, but, like, when you said this about that, like, I really felt about, and then you kind of have that, you engage with your audience, yeah. and, you know, like, and then they kind of, you kind of pick each other's brains, and yeah. then you kind of come back on there, and, you, you know, you have a mindset, like, fuck, people are actually really listening and learning from this shit. Yeah, I think that's the number one thing, like, what you said is, like, engaging with your audience. Oh, for sure. Yes. I feel like a lot of people might complain about support, yes. but, like, you're not engaging with the people that are trying to support exactly. you. Exactly, yeah, yeah, You yeah. can't be mad when that support eventually goes away. Yeah, like, yeah. You're not For giving sure, yeah. them any incentive or any interaction sure. to, like, keep yeah, this around. I'll never leave anybody on red. Like, I'll, I'm, yeah, I'm always going to respond. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm kind of toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Light skin again. Uh, there we go again. Yeah. 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 The stereotype. <laughs> You in your feelings and kinda, you don't respond? Yeah, that's light skin. Yeah, that's that kind of toxic. That's light skin. That's crazy. I'll be in my bag, right? All my <laughs> niggas toxic, so it's okay. <laughs> We're in our bag. Okay, so no, no, that's really, really fucking cool, but um, you know what's so it. crazy, though? I don't know if y'all go through this, too, but it seems like strangers be your biggest supporters. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that should be so fucking, like, trip, bro. That, yeah. That'd be a trip to me, bro. It's a trip. When people I don't even know no shit, I'm just like, how do you know this, right. dog? Right, yeah. Like, and it's just so surreal. Which, by the way, I fuck with y'all, so... Don't ever think that if I'm tripping yeah. and I don't understand what's going on, that's just me trying to understand. But I fuck with y'all. Thank you. Yeah, for real. No, like, but people um, randomly be up there, bro. So shout out to the fans because you know at the end of the day, yeah, we're inspiring them. So like, exactly, we're saying the things that they wish they could say. Exactly, we're really putting our fucking like throats and guts out. Yeah, there. exactly. We even got because we added Vinny. Vinny, you know mm-hmm. this. Like, we got some international people in the mix. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people, I would, I don't think I will ever meet. You know what I'm saying? But they listen, like, yeah. avidly. Yeah. Even to the point where they're like, yo, what happened to the next episode? For sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if y'all ever, like, get asked, like, <laughs> That's how you know. where are we dropping? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's taking y'all so long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as I get that type of attention from that stranger... I just want to know everything about that person. Like, yeah. what makes oh, yeah, you yeah. drawn to us? Yeah. Right. Oh no, you I'll know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure I need to be your friend. Like, you are the dopest. Oh no, sometimes I'll DM them first and be like, "Yo, is there any topics you want to hear about?" Right. Like, right. You know what I mean? Right. I want to know because they're my fan. I'm catering to them. Right. Like, yeah. What do you right. want to hear from right. me? Right. Right. So, yeah. How do you guys engage with the audience? How do you guys engage with the fan base? I don't know how to engage with mine besides going on live. And I hate going on. I mean, we usually just try to post like like questions or like. I think the important thing is to be seen. Mm. Like, it almost, it does, but it almost doesn't even matter what you're doing. It's just be seen. For sure. Like, mm-hmm. even if you just, like, posting a picture of the Sweden Man. Or if, like, because especially y'all just audio. Yeah, we just, so if, yeah. yeah. I mean, if y'all, like, post a pit, yeah, if y'all pop to the pit, they'd be like, oh, that's what they look like? Yeah, like, we, just that. Yeah. we just did that. We just did that. Yeah, we just did that. I mean, like, I think it's just important to be seen, whether it's you just doing an Instagram post or yeah. you going on live. Like, I'm I'm going on live on mine tonight and we're doing, like, a cash-out giveaway. Word. So it's just, like, little stuff like that. It's everybody's not doing it. So you find different things that you see other podcasters not doing. You're like, well, let's try this out and see how they respond to it. Yeah. But it's just, if you're being seen, they're not going to forget about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Do you guys know any other three, like, podcasts that collab together in, into one space? Nah. Like, are, we, are we Genesis World nah. nah. Records right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably. We got the gang in right, here. Is, so, this, yeah. is this what this is? Yeah, like, they got to come out with a new book now. But yo, like, this isn't for nothing, you know what I mean? Like, right. this whole episode just revolves around the support system. Yeah. And I'm not even going to cap the support system that I'm looking at here. It look healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, just like an overarching idea when it comes to like having or looking for those type of people, you know what I mean? It all comes down to a mindset. Mm-hmm. I feel like, in my honest opinion, like not everybody's gonna have the same type of mindset. Right. 
but once you capture that, you like bounce off those ideas, mm-hmm. you get new like, you know, brands and stuff like that. So do you guys ever like catch ideas or influences off of other podcasts or any other artists or any other type of media platform where you're like, yo, you know what? We can do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can we can mingle with that. I think so. I think I don't I won't try to take their idea, but like if they talk about of a certain course. topic, yeah. I'll um I'll maybe write that down and then maybe talk, you know, to my, my co host. Yeah. Like, yo, like y'all wanna talk about this today? Like I kinda heard this on another podcast, but I have my own take on it. Right. So right, like, right, I think just right. it's mainly just perspective. That's why I listen to other people's podcasts. Because right. I think if you don't learn other people's perspective, you're ignorant. You know right, what I mean? right, so right. that's that's what I do. Right. You know I mean? That's true. Yeah. And I think like um uh, just bouncing off each other's ideas, like I feel like, especially with our friends, we get into this mindset where we tell them, oh, you're doing the podcast. They go, oh, you, you're going to be all right. Like, you smart dude. You're going right. to be all right. Mm-hmm. But you can't just do it all by yourself. We right. literally just yeah. putting the mic and seeing what happens. Yeah. You mm-hmm. really need to Same, stimulate your mind and right. bounce ideas right. on each other and kind right. of see what that feels yeah. like. Yeah. There's some, there's some artists, there's some podcasters that just like, yo, I don't listen to anyone else. There, I, and I respect yeah. that. I respect yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at the end of the day, going back to what Nick said, like, I kind of want to know what people want to hear versus what I want to hear because sure. I obviously want to hear what I want to hear. Right. But I have to tailor to the people. You know what I mean? I'm doing it for them, yeah. so I kind of have see, to tailor like, I'm not, for them. I'm not in, your, in y'all world. Like, I'm kind of on the other side, but like, I feel like if you, you're not listening to other people's podcasts, then like, how are you like consistently knowing yeah. what to talk about? Yeah. Like, what the fans are like, re- really um, responding to? Yeah. Like, this, if you coming from the mud and like this person's podcast, like we was talking about Joe earlier, mm-hmm. it's like you know what I'm saying it's 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 trend setting and mm-hmm. you know it's doing something different. Right. And it's like if you're not watching that, then like how are you gonna separate yeah. yourself from other people when mm-hmm. you just like nah, like I'm not supporting <laughs> nobody else. Like, I'm gonna watch mine, but then you complain about people not supporting you. Right. Yeah. It's exactly. Like, mm-hmm. It's a double. Yeah. Short. It's like how are you <laughs> getting better? Almost. It's right. like yeah. if you if you a hooper, you not gonna not watch other hoopers. Mm-hmm. Like, right. Exactly. You go if you want to be the best. Point guard in the league, you're gonna watch Kyrie. Right. Like right. you're gonna watch all these guys that you know what I mean you're gonna watch a, a old school Rondo. You're gonna right. watch all these guys that used to be I mean that are yeah. good at what they do. So like that's the yeah. same. Not only you're gonna watch them, but right. like you're gonna want to play against them yeah. when it's right. time. Right. 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 You're not gonna like sit in yeah. the back and be like, nah, like I got I got so and so that's the twelfth man on the bench. Like, no, like if you wanna get better for real. You want to guard yeah. the person that's at the top, top of the line. line. Like, right. and that's yeah. what you should strive for. Like, in the podcast, or like, you know, with me with a clothing line, it's like, bro, like, model yourself somewhat after the people that have been successful and put your yeah. own personal right. skin on it. Exactly. You got to. W- w- what time do you guys feel like it's going to become too much when it's like, maybe, so, when, along the lines when it becomes popping. I'm just going to say when we become popping. Yeah. Not if, but when we become popping, what's going to hold y'all down? As far as what? What do you mean? Grounded. When you blow up, like, oh, what's sure. going to hold you down to be like, yo, I'm not brand new. Like, I've been doing this just because. it's fun. Yeah, oh, I think it's because oh. we're doing it for the right reasons almost. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody said, oh, I'm doing this so I can get a check. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's not what any of our motive was. Y'all do, y'all do it to vent. That's basically why I do it because I, uh, I used to blog and I used to, like, write poetry. Yeah. This is almost just another way for me to vent. True. Y'all doing the same thing. So it's not like we just was, we're trying to come up with uh, different ways to make money. And this was like, oh, well, we'll see how many followers we can get on the podcast. Like, right. we didn't do it for that. Right. So right. I think that really is going to be the basis for when we get to that level where they paying us to talk. It's going to be like, I mean, I'm not worried about the money. It's cool that y'all paying me for it, though. But, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I don't think, I, I don't think we, nobody in here really has that type of an ego where you would switch up on people. Right. Especially the fact, like you said, um, you DM some of your viewers first. Yeah. Sure. I've never A lot that. of people are never, like, not yeah, doing I've never that. done that. Before. Like, I'm like, okay, like. Dang, they doing that. I got yeah. Because yeah. 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 I'm, I'm always curious. I'm like, well, I don't, yeah. even, I don't even know you. What made you follow us, right. subscribe to us, and now can like religiously listen to us. Yeah. And I have to ask them this. And right. I mean, for them, it was off random. Like, hey, I saw someone who like, you know, share it, or you right. know, who followed us on Instagram, right. or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But then like, I'm like, okay, well, I'll ask them, well, how, how can like, how can I get other subscribers like you? Because if you right. fuck with the content, there's a million other people out there exactly. that way. How can I get them? And I'll right. ask them, pick their brains for yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Vinny, I'm sorry that you haven't talked the whole time. You just yeah, look I'm like just, a, I'm just absorbing, them. bro. <laughs> <laughs> you just look you like, notes, yeah, you're just taking you're mad taking notes. Taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it that kind of prevents y'all from like trying to 
copy other people you know what i mean like do you guys ever feel like it's a struggle because i feel like it's a struggle sometimes because i'm not gonna lie i go i go to joe budden podcast i go to horrible decisions and i see like what do you guys how do you guys move like how do i start like you know what i mean but then after a while it's like let me just play music and like just talk and whatever do you guys ever have a struggle with trying to bring up original ideas when it comes to your own podcast, we, we be sitting in the room sometimes, just staring like at brainstorming. Like, what are we gonna right? talk I mean, about? Yo, we'll have so, days where we're, we're not prepared, and we'll come in and we're like, "Yo, we don't know what the fuck we're gonna talk about." Yo, but like, same. but I'm like, we're not leaving until we have a topic. Right. You know yo, I mean? so, yeah. so we will. One, I mean, one episode, we literally just passed around a whiteboard. Remember, we just passed around that yeah, whiteboard, same. and we just like, yo, yeah. you write down what like a topic you want to talk about, and we yeah. just kept doing that until we had enough content for that episode. So. Yeah. Yeah, like sometimes we have to like try to, cause like I watch the Joe Budden podcast too. So mm-hmm. like the sleeper picks, yeah. fuck man, I wish I could do the sleeper I picks. Wish we could yeah. do that. I think too. cause that that would kind of give them like, cause like we do closer songs, which is like real. Yeah, close. yeah we do we do intros yeah. and cl- and closures, and we try to do like where we just try to get like artists from Tampa or just like yeah. smaller like acts. But then like you know we try to do our own spin on that. But, yeah, right. yeah, but like we we try to kind of stay away from original thoughts that have been taken. Yeah. Yeah. it's kind of hard sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know. Hey, we'll talk do. about talk about our skits. Oh yeah, so like we try to branch out too. Okay, Slate like, in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all ain't here, Slate, he just said, "Yo, we'll talk about our skits." We're actually trying to like branch out because we think, like, as podcasts, like that's an hour investment. If you mm-hmm. want to listen to our podcast, we do you know that one hour, but we also put out mini clips, you know, mm. so you can hear these hot takes within our that episode. Yeah. But now we're also trying to get more viewers, so we're trying to do maybe like skit segments. Yeah. So like we'll talk about like for example. Like the pillowcase uh, method. Yeah. If y'all ask what that is, when you're going to sleep, you don't want your girl to look through your phone, put that bitch in the pillowcase. <laughs> I see you know that episode. Right? That you see that episode? episode? So, yeah, like, yeah, you know, our yeah, boy yeah. Will, like, what he would do is he was. He yeah. put he put his yeah. phone in the pillowcase so his girl couldn't like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she had to go through his fucking head to get this phone. You know right. what I mean? So like we, you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, we're all toxic. 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 Yo, But that's what I'm saying. But like, but, but like grabbing, saying, but grabbing that construct right. and then doing yeah. a skit around that. Maybe like that's funny though. Yeah, we'll, yeah, exa- we'll exaggerate that bit. Like you know, the girl's like, yo, let me see your phone. Yeah, yeah. Has a fucking pillowcase with his phone right. and that bitch running out like Santa Claus. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? like, yeah, yeah, We yeah. can do that. You know what I mean? Right. So right. Like, yeah. yeah. So we're trying to bring it to like that next level. Gotta be different, man. Yeah, we gotta keep trying to take that. Something that kind of brings you guys out of the circle. Something that like pops you out and stuff like that. What about y'all? What about you tripping? Where do you guys feel like you would need or what you're gonna do? Without um, exposing too much. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, just trying to keep it secretive, mind. but, like, at yeah. the same time, like, I'm trying to... Um, I think it's subjective. Like, I work in in the IT industry, so I'm in an industry where stuff is always changing. Like, yeah. Literally, not even daily, like, hourly. Yeah. So, I see a bunch of different things that I can talk about all the time, but it's really, for me, just a matter of going off a of word of mouth. Okay. Just for okay, we're coming back from a commercial break. We're gonna call that. Oh, we had to pay the bills. Um, so we had to pay some bills. We had to, you know, jump some people. But um, <laughs> big, big Daddy had to get right. Big Daddy had to get right. Shout out to Pool. Yo, okay, for the you tripping for the Fly Tribe, what yeah, yeah. what's upcoming for y'all? Anything that we should know? Uh, well, uh, tomorrow is New Drop Sunday. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, no. Yeah. That's hot take. For, yeah. for, uh, for Black History Month, for uh, you know February in general, I got two things coming out. Um, I got a pink love heart hoodie. Um, you know, for for the Valentine's Day group. So um, it's a kind of a kind of a couples thing. So that uh, that's pretty cool. And then I got a uh, Black History Month windbreaker coming out. That's created a lot of buzz. Um, so I'm excited for uh, for y'all to see that. It drops tomorrow. Probably be up around six PM. Okay. So, um, okay. Mark your calendars, y'all. Follow me on uh, on Instagram at Fly with the Tribe um, mm-hmm. to get those updates, and you can visit the website at flytribeco.com. Facts. Okay. You yeah. tripping is coming up with the. We doing live episodes like crazy, man. We about to start doing live episodes and. <clears throat> I've been blessed enough to make a decent amount of money in my time, so right. I'm about to start giving it to y'all. Oh, sure. <laughs> like just, cash app giveaways. Yeah, you're doing yeah. cash app giveaways, man. Yeah. So I'm going to start doing cash app giveaways. going to be giving y'all a little bit. I ain't going crazy. I ain't what you don't, uh, Twitter, they be doing like 
$5,000, I ain't, I ain't doing all that. Negative. I might get like a little 50 or something like yeah, that out of yeah, me, but like I'm not giving y'all 5000 but yeah, we're going to start doing the live episodes, man, start um having fun with that, so yeah, just follow us, uh, IG is uh, You Trippin' Podcast, Twitter is uh, Trippin' Podcast, so um we'll be on there mainly. Tune in, man. All right, coming. facts, yeah. facts, 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 facts. Quazy, please, promo. Yeah. Where can we get that shit? Where can we get the new album? <laughs> Yo, all streaming sites out. Quazy. Q U A Z I. My name's S Luna. Gang gang. Apologies. Gang gang. Gang gang. Yo, and like, yeah, next year we're going to make some big moves. This year we're already working on some deals. I'm working on some. i see you in Coachella next year. Tell them, bro. Coachella, bro. Like, we're coming for you. La Palooza, Bonnaroo. Yo, everybody. Oh, putting that into the house. Shout out to my lawyers, by the way, to keep me safe, dog. Shout out to the lawyers, bro. Shout out to the lawyers, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Big Daddy, you want to promo Universal? Since you right. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Huh? Oh, man, that's crazy. For just four ninety nine, you can get yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Pull her up on the infomercial. Like. I do love Universal, but I just want to plug Peace and Love. No. That's Happy heartfelt. New Year. January January fucking sucks. Today is January 1st. Happy New Year to everybody. <laughs> right. For real. Is there one we can revert back to like, like December? We did. It's January 1st. Right. Yesterday yeah. was December 31st. Right. Right. It was yesterday. Right. Right. Happy New Year. 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 Happy New um, Sweeter Man Podcast, you already promoted your shit? Nah, we ain't promo, oh, but... I love we were doing the skits, man. That's what, oh, we said we do the skits, is. but um, yeah, if you want to find us on Instagram, okay. at the Sweeter Man Podcast, we're also on Spotify, we're also on YouTube, we're also on the Himalaya app, so, you know, we got it everywhere, so if you just want to search at the Sweeter Man Podcast, we're mainly active on Instagram, DM us, and, you know, we constantly, you know, post updates whenever we drop, so. Right, 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 and tune in next time where we talk about if it's okay if your girl has a fans only, which is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but we just got a beer in five it. years. You know what I mean? mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, but yes, follow you. us at G E M T A L K P O D C A S T, Gem Talk Podcast, on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Please tune in and thank you for listening. Everybody, this is the live pod with you tripping, Sweeter Man, and GTP. Perfect. Thank you. Tune in again. Big trust. Big trust. trust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Yes.